Frank Miller, one of the greatest comic book artists and writers of all time, the creative brain behind The Dark Knight Returns, one of the best Daredevil runs, um, Sin City 300, uh, Batman Year One, which a lot of people kind of didn't like, but then a lot of people did. And anyway, he's been behind some really big shit, you know, some really explosive, very popular comic book entertainment, and he just went full retard, okay? And as you know, you never go full retard. This is a post from his blog, and it's entitled Anarchy. The Occupy Movement, whether displaying itself on Wall Street or in the streets of Oakland, which has, with unspeakable cowardice, embraced it, is anything but an exercise of our blessed First Amendment. What? <laughs> what exactly was... okay. I don't know, maybe I have a very different interpretation of the First Amendment than you do, because I could have swore that it, it gives you the right to freedom of speech and the freedom to assemble and petition the government for redress of grievances and so on and so forth. Um, I could have swore that was the case, but I guess that in your mind it only counts if it's protests that you agree with. Occupy is nothing but a pack of louts thieves and rapists, an unruly mob fed by Woodstock-era nostalgia and putrid false righteousness, these clowns can do nothing but harm America. Okay, let's look at these claims. A lout is described as an uncouth, boisterous, aggressive man. So, Frank, I don't think you can be using the word lout. I don't think you're allowed to hurl that invective at anyone but yourself. Thieves! Now that's an interesting one, because the people of Occupy Wall Street are protesting thieves. They're not thieves themselves. I think you're a little confused. They're protesting those who stole money from us. They took our tax dollars and with the collusion of the United States governments, funneled them into private enterprise in the form of bailouts and stimulus packages and so on and so forth. That's what the Occupy Wall Street people are protesting, is the billions and billions, perhaps even trillions of dollars of thievery of these giant financial institutions. Rapists! I mean, where is the, the mass rape at the Occupy Wall Street movements? I've yet to hear a single report of rape. Um, an unruly mob. Well, yeah, kind of. But what's so bad about being an unruly mob? There have been plenty of unruly mobs throughout history that accomplished great things. I mean, I'm sure there was plenty of white southern assholes that described the civil rights movement as an unruly mob. And you say these clowns can do nothing but harm America. Um, all right. Well, I guess that depends on what you as an American value. And let's see what you as an American value. You say, Occupy is nothing short of a clumsy, poorly expressed attempt at anarchy. <coughs> wrong! I'm sorry, but that is just incredibly wrong. There's not, I mean, there's nothing anarchist about Occupy Wall Street. I mean, maybe there's some anarchy, anarchist groups that are protesting there. I don't really know, but for the most part, what Occupy Wall Street wants is more regulation. <laughs> when you want increased regulation of private enterprise, that makes you um, kind of the fucking opposite of an anarchist. Now, doesn't it? Okay, uh, you go on to describe the Occupy Wall Street folks as a bunch of iPhone and iPad-wielding spoiled brats who should stop getting in the way of working people and find jobs for themselves. <laughs> Frank Miller's brilliant solution to the unemployment problem is everyone just needs to find a job. Right. That is, I mean, that's fucking priceless. What are, what's next? You go over like to some starving Africans, like just eat. God damn it, just fucking eat some food. That's all you gotta do to stop this starvation problem. I mean, Jesus, you fucking idiots. You sit here not eating, wonder why you're hungry. 
I mean, Jesus Christ, Frank Miller, are you really this fucking dumb? What happened to you between being the guy who wrote The Dark Knight Returns and Sin City and then being the guy who directed The Spirit and then says shit like this? Like, what happened? Did you just run out of genius? Was it just... Like, did you have, were you born with a little genius bar, and then once it was exhausted, you just refused to bow gracefully out and step away? I, I don't know, Frank. I'm kind of puzzled by it. Like, I think you might want to go to a doctor and check and see if you got, like, a tumor or something, because I don't understand how someone could suffer this traumatic and precipitous a fucking decline. I, I just don't get it. I mean, there has been a marked mental deterioration. There has been a, a, a very apparent decline in the quality of your cognitive function, sir. You need to get it checked out. Maybe between the bouts of self-pity and all the other tasty tidbits of narcissism you've been served up in your sheltered, comfy little worlds, you've heard terms like Al-Qaeda and Islamicism. Al-Qaeda and Islamicism. So his criticism of the Occupy Wall Street and Occupy Everywhere Else movement, movements, I should say, is that we should be focused on the real enemy, which is Islam and Al-Qaeda and terrorists. So I've called Frank Miller throughout the course of the video an idiot, and I've explained why he's completely out of touch and he has no idea what he's talking about, and so on and so forth. But what I'm about to say is probably the only charge that might actually get to him were he to see this video. Because I'm sure that other stuff he's proud of. I'm sure if he sees me calling me like, yeah, yeah, I pissed that stupid liberal faggot off. Yeah, I'm Frank Miller, bitch. What's up? That's probably not how Frank Miller talks. But I am going to say this to you, Frank. You are, and this is undisputable. This is not something that I'm going to, this is not some, you know, insult I'm just casting in your direction that has no weight behind it. This is the real deal. This is something that describes the core of your being, and you need to listen very carefully. You are a fucking pussy. That's right. You are a fucking little crying bitch under a bed. <laughs> the terrorists are going to get me. The terrorists are not going to get you. You know why? Because the terrorists are a bunch of incompetent fucking morons. Frank, I mean, okay, they killed 3,000 people. 3,000. Big fucking deal. <sighs> 10 years ago. 3,000 people. 10 fucking years ago. And what have they done since? Jack shit. You know why? Because we went over there and we kicked their fucking ass. We did. We have decimated Al-Qaeda. They can't do shit. Maybe, they'll, maybe there will be another successful attack by Al-Qaeda or some other terrorist organization in our lifetime. Maybe. Maybe there will be one tomorrow. It doesn't matter. Because until they actually rack up a death toll worth being concerned about, we don't need to live our lives in overreactionary fear of them, like a bunch of fucking cowards. And you are a coward, sir, because you are the one ignoring the real problem, the systemic problems that exist within the architecture of the American economy in order to focus on a fucking pussy ass, overinflated, overhyped, overexaggerated boogeyman that no one has been afraid of since the Bush administration other than fucking cowardly little pussy bitches like you. See this? I love this book. The art's brilliant. The writing is crisp and intelligent. But I can't respect this anymore. Because I can't abide by the work of cowards.